What if you want to downsize, but you liked where you live? You wanted to build your own home to your own specification and your own future needs. And it also had to be eco-friendly. Well, it's obvious. You'd build it in your own back garden. Welcome to the Everything Electric Show. You, yes you, we know you love the Everything Electric Show, so why not come to one of our six live shows in 2023, starting in Sydney, Australia on March 11th and 12th. Get your tickets from fullycharged.live now. Philo Wendy's property is a chalet bungalow around 2,300 square feet. It's an open plan living with three bedrooms and two reception rooms. There are high ceilings and wide doorways and it's fully insulated with 200 millimetres of insulation throughout the walls, roof and floor. The roof is self-facing, which is ideal for solar and all the lights are LED. Hello, Philo Wendy. Thank you for inviting us to your house. It's really nice to be here. Now, this is our first self-build property we've been to and I'm really excited to see what you've done. Can you tell us how it came to be how it is? Yes, we, um, we lived in the house next door. Yeah. Uh, which, and this was one big plot at that time and we came here in 1977 mm -hmm. and we decided to try and move to somewhere else and we looked around and we couldn't find anywhere so we decided that we would build a house in the garden because we were looking to the future and being eco-friendly and we saw golden opportunity mm -hmm. build from the ground up and you can put everything in that you want to put in. Nice and snug, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is our boot great. room, yeah. utility room. Yeah. And this is where we have all the electrical uh, some distribution boxes for, your for boards, the yeah. system. Yeah. Uh, this is the inverter for the solar panels. Uh -huh. And oh, our iBoost. Boo hot water there, yeah. Hot water. Yeah. And also filtration system for the fresh water. Yeah, lovely. It comes in the house. It's very contained and we've got all the systems on here. Yeah, you've made the space work, haven't you? You're running off yeah. single phase. Yeah. Let's yes, see. we yeah. are. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, it's just... But it's... Uh, not as pretty as I'd like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I quite like it myself. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, that's why I haven't boxed it in. Yeah. I don't like another thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It makes it more available. For, I suppose, yeah, to, for, for um, you know, aftercare kind of thing. Yeah. Need to do anything to no, it. No, are we making anything at the moment? Yes, uh, we're just making approximate. Well, it comes up in a second. It's about a hundred watts. Wow. Oh, so that, exactly. exactly. It's very overcast, isn't it? You know, and uh, show you still work normally, when it's not all sunny. Yeah. Yeah. When we're not here and um, we're only running the internet. The fresh air ventilation system and the fridges, mm. the house uses about 100 watts. Yeah. So it's actually Bain making minimal. enough mm. to run the house when we're not here. So I, I do love hearing about the tech people put in their houses. What have you put in, in this one to make it work oh, for you? Gosh. We've got solar panels on the roof. Yeah. We've got a battery. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a hot water tank, not a boiler, uh, mm -hmm. which is controlled by two elements which heat the water. In the summertime, it's heated from the roof, so we use very little energy in that sense. Mm -hmm. I've noticed you've got the, um, the air ventilation systems yeah, in here yeah. as well. Yeah, it's a fresh, fresh yeah. air ventilation system because the windows have no trickle vents in, which yeah. you have to have. But because the air is changed every two and a half hours um, with, through the system, and it's also... The, the air going into the house is heated by the air going out. Mm -hmm. So it, so it heats the incoming air by about four or five degrees, um, which obviously benefits the interior of the house. Yeah. Have you seen our video on air permeability? Mm -hmm. So you've done this, so you've reduced the amount of holes in your house. Every new house that is built yeah. has to have a, an air permeability test. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got ours down to 36 that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's very uh, good. We'll... I'll be chef for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Indeed, yes. How did you find these with the air permeability? Were these quite tight? Yeah. Um, yes, they were. Yeah, after Philly the... gone round with the <laughs> yeah, the crack. I mentioned earlier about the crack. Yeah. And it was just like that crack there. So that was where it was going. So it wasn't the window itself. It was just a bit where just it fitted in. in. Where they fitted yeah. in. Where the plasterboard meets the window. Yeah. Just that crack there, you could feel the air coming through. Yeah. Well, that's is not that bad, is it? I've turned there, just that little... Really? Absolutely. Amazing. The, the, the extent of all that, we find that between the end of... This is for last year, the end of 
uh, February mm. to the end of October, we burn less than a pound a day of electric. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. So how many kilowatts have you got on your roof then? We've got 14 panels oh, on the end. It's um, 4.8 kilowatts. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's the maximum amount that you can have. But I've seen four kilowatts coming off a roof yeah. at any one time during during the summer months of mm -hmm. the year. But even at this, even on a day like today, yeah, it'll still be pushing. It'll yeah. still be working. Yeah, and it's it's and covering it most of your costs, which is amazing, oh, isn't it? Because it goes into the battery, and we use yeah. the battery during the day. Mm -hmm. And it's it's we find it very economical. Obviously, now costs have gone up. We're, yeah. we're now into a different sort of uh, structure for our paying, but yeah. we, are, we, and we still think we're going to be on the winning side. So uh, as yeah. far as we're So are concerned. you charging a battery at night for cheap rate and then you yeah. every day until the solar kicks in? Yeah. 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 But the panels and the, and the, I think, are the best things, aren't they, darling? The and the battery. The battery, certainly. The battery. They're your faves. <laughs> our faves, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Everything else you just take for granted. <laughs> <laughs> this is our, what I call the operations room in here. Okie dokies. So narrow, so be do okay. Careful. It's very tidy though, isn't it? It's yeah. a tidy job in here, haven't they? Absolutely. Yeah. So did fresh air ventilation system. I yeah. Ins I ins did you do this? Yeah. yeah. Well done. <laughs> the round there is our tank. Um, oh right, yeah. Ah, so you've got the Give Energy battery, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so the eight point yeah. uh, two kilowatt battery. Yeah. When we started uh, designing the house with my son, we wanted to be as eco-friendly as we possibly could. Mm. And this is why we've installed all the tech that we've talked about. It was very important that we wanted to do this uh, because we would benefit from the fact that all these things that we've done will reduce our electric bill. Yep. The house is purely electric. There's mm -hmm. no gas or anything like that. So we wanted to make sure that we reduce the cost to the minimum and yeah. carbon footprint yeah which i feel is very important we've, yeah. we've discussed it at length yes so so what um impacts have you seen financially and physically in with the what oh, tech you put oh, it's very comfortable to live in financially we are much better off mm -hmm. because um it's an all as phil said it's an all electric house so has one technology been more effective than another have you noticed at all yes we've noticed quite a difference since mm -hmm. we fit to the battery. So it's reducing our electric bill by about 60%. I would recommend to anybody who is thinking of doing this, and if they find they can't fit solar panels over for one reason or another, mm. put a battery in. And then mm. you're using the cheaper rate through the rest of the day, mm -hmm. which is going to reduce your bills dramatically. So yeah. yeah. So we've spoken a lot about the tech you have now. Is mm. there anything you're looking to install in the future? Yeah. We did, we, we, uh, we did look at possibly fitting yeah. a ground source heat pump. Yeah. And also the fact at the moment we have a plug-in hybrid type of car. Yeah. And we're planning to this year to change it to a full electric car. Mm -hmm. And hopefully uh, we would go to the fully charged show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and see what's available in this country. Mm. Yeah, well, there's a big selection of tuition with loads of people showcasing there. So. Yeah, oh, I'm that's sure you'll find something oh, that suits your budget and what you need. Yeah, well, be very, yes. very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you both very much for inviting us around your house today. It's been really lovely to meet you and to see all the renewable technology you've put in this house and all the future stuff you want to do as well. It's been great to have us here. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's our yeah. pleasure, isn't yeah. it, darling? And also, we're very grateful that you've come. So we can tell people that it isn't that difficult yeah. to do. And to try it. Uh, and, and to make use of the technology we have available today. And it makes uh, perfect sense to us. If you're thinking of doing your own self-build, then Wendy and Phil's property is a great example of what can be achieved. And remember, it's not about how much tech you can ram into your house. It's about the tech that works for you and your home. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this in the future. So if you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe. And as always, if you have been, thanks for watching.